Welcome, or welcome back to the tour of my Australia Zoo, the first zoo that I've ever actually cared about. Uh, I am using a first person mod. The link to this is in the description. This is on Nexus Mods. Uh, please be aware it only works with 1.7 still. Uh, 1.8 has not been released, so the game can crash if you do certain things. Uh, my computer's just barely holding on to 50 frames a second with this zoo, and I only have 16 animals. So, I'm not saying it's a good zoo, but I am saying my computer shit. Okay, so here we go. This is uh, kind of the first look into an exhibit that we have here. This is the new dingo exhibit that I put in here. If you watch the last video, you'll know this was... Uh, just a whole lot of empty land. So I have this kind of dugout cave. Ultimately, I would like to do more rock work in here, but my computer is just not handling it. So, you know, maybe when I get an upgrade, I'll go ahead and fix up, add some more little details around. Um, we'll see what happens. So yeah, I really like how this turned out. I love, I got this rock stack and uh, some of, uh, some of these other rock features off of the workshop. I didn't actually do all this myself, but uh, I really like how this turned out. Um, we have our little shops here. Let's kind of walk around the plaza a little bit. So this is the blue tongued skink, if you remember from the last video. I did not put any decorations on it because I am lazy. Also, I think it looks fine the way it is. It doesn't look like one of those stock uh, staff buildings. I think it looks okay the way it is. Modern, whatever. Here we have the Death Adder. Oh, there she is. Cute little danger noodle. We have a giant burrowing cockroach still. I think they're still alive, hopefully. These are all fully researched now, so that took a really long time, and I'm super excited about it. Coming up here, we have the train station. Also, I just love this mod. Look at how it follows going uphill. I just, I love it. So when you're standing in line here, you can look into the cassowary exhibit a little bit. Um, you can see one walking around right there. Oh, I just love it. Okay. Let's make our way. Oh, here, let's go check out the, uh, I'm so excited to see this in first person. I haven't, uh, I haven't tried this yet with the zoo. I didn't want it crashing on me, so I, I got rid of the mod, but I just put it back in for this video. Um, oh, man, okay. So this, if you remember, this hasn't changed at all. This is the kangaroo koala exhibit. Um, I still just, I still love this. It's just the centerpiece of the zoo, and let's not look at the rotting food in that ball right there. Um, okay, here we go, dingoes ahead. Oh, I just love how this path turned out and the rock work. It reminds me of a, what is that, Thunder Mountain at Disneyland. <laughs> I just, I just love it so much. We have the train track, literally Thunder Mountain. I'm so sorry. I did not plan to do that, but that is exactly what happened. I just, oh, I just love it. Yeah, so you can come up here. I have some uh, signs, some, you know, some information. I have these two little outlooks here of varying heights. I thought that was kind of cool, have one little taller than the other. Yeah, you just kind of stand around here and look out at this. Unfortunately, these guys don't like a lot of foliage, so it is a bit barren. I mean, they are desert Australia animals, it said, so, you know, that's fine. I need to fix that waterfall, too. It needs some more oomph, you know? It needs some oomph. All right. I have just, uh oh, I just love this little pathway, and I'm glad that a lot of people are using it when I was building this. Uh, not too many people are coming out to see the dingoes. I don't know if they're just not that cool of an animal, or... Oh, I don't know. Oh, I just love this mod, you guys. I'm just... This mod is everything I've ever wanted. Okay, let's save the platypuses for last, because I just... I love them so much. 
Oh, I love how the train just goes by. I love the shade from the big trees. Like, look at this view. Oh, my waterfall. Then I'll get on the train again at the end so you can see the final product. I know we got on it last time, but it was a little bit barren. Um, you can kind of see into the feeding area for the saltwater crocodile here. Actually, here's another outlook. I wonder if there's uh, someone hanging out nearby. Someone's in a box. I should probably wrap them out of the box, but that would ruin the video. No HUD in this video. That is that is the goal. Also at Sandbox, so I don't really care if anything happens to the animals, no offense. Oh, this mod, you guys. You can walk upstairs without having to mess with the camera. It's being all funky. So this is the crocodile habitat. I wonder if we get a good view. I have a couple babies in here, I think. You see any? Oh, there's one by the platform out there in the water. Why is the water green? Maybe it's the trees? I have a water filter, or a purifier, whatever it's called, water treatment nearby. Maybe there's no power. I'll have to look into that. Yeah, I'm going to fix all this up, and then I'm going to put it on the Steam Workshop. It's already on the Steam Workshop right now, uh, in its current state, uh, but, you know, it could always do with a little bit of improving. So this is the other train station. I still need to build some kind of structure around it. It obviously looks really bare right now, but, you know, that's fine. Um, so this building ahead of us I got off of the workshop, and I absolutely love it. If I can find the link, I'll put this uh, down in the description as well. I just love this little eating area over here. It's just so cozy, and at nighttime it's all lit up. It's just amazing. And then this is the restaurant that I built. It's obviously a box, because that's all I know how to build. But, I don't know, people are enjoying it. I have, you know... The lights are really cool at night time. Looks like we're getting to be night time. When we come back from the crocodile habitat, you'll see. Yeah. And this is my common brown snake. Isn't brown snake a word for poop? Maybe I didn't mean to say that. I'm pretty sure it's just called a brown snake. I, I should stop saying that. Okay, here we go into my underwater viewing area for the saltwater crocodiles. Again, I built this building. Yes, it's a box. Ugh, I just, ah, I love it so much. This one isn't as cool, in my opinion, as actually, now that I'm looking at it, maybe it is just as cool as the platypus one. Ugh. I just, I love it to death. Yeah, the water's super murky. Okay, I need to figure out what's going on here. But yeah, I added some of these like really cool stone alligators in here, crocodiles. I just, I love how this looks. And then the curve around the train track. Ah, this is just one of, oh, there it is. Oh my gosh, I just, oh, I love it so much. All right, now we have two more habitats to go through, just the platypus and the cassowary. And that is the entirety of the zoo at that point. Um, the reason I chose Australia to start with is because there are only, you know, six, not even, habitat animals. It's just a lot less daunting for me because I just I hate building. I hate building in this game. It, it's a miracle that I even built, you know, the um, the things that I did. Uh, okay, so this is we're coming up on the platypus exhibit now. I just oh shit! I fell off here again. That mod, you guys, you gotta get it. I just fell off the stairs. Well, I guess we're getting a much closer view than I was anticipating. So this is the uh, 
The coolest part, in my opinion, that the guests never use. You can see them in here eating or just getting out of the rain or whatever they're doing. I have two live burrow cameras. Ah, I just, I love it, I love it, I love it. So let's go check out their underwater viewing area and let's actually take the stairs this time and not fall off of them. Oh, can I not? Okay. Yeah. Here we are back at the koala and kangaroo. Some real bad's going on. I don't know what's happening. It's not my problem. I'm a guest today. Here's my memorial wall. We're up to four, four beautiful babies. Okay, people are really mad. That's fine. All right, here we go into the platypus building. This hasn't changed since the last video. I just really wanted to do a first person walk through the whole zoo because I just, I love how this turned out. It's so abnormal for me to build a structure and put in, you know, the work that needs to go into it. It's, it's just, this is the first time it's ever happened and this is probably the last time it's ever gonna happen because Oh, so many hours went into this, and it's not even that impressive of a zoo. It's a very basic zoo, which, you know, it's it's fancy to me, and that is all that matters. Oh, here comes the train. Oh, I just love it so much. Oh, awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, the last step, we're back here at the front. There's the dingoes, the three main habitats, um, the super steep wonky bridge over the... Uh, let's pretend that didn't happen. Can I not walk up there? Can I just like teleport into this? Can I jump? Oh no. Okay, this mod has its issues. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I just need to follow this outside edge, it looks like. Maybe? Let's see if we can't make it up here in one piece? Oh, no. That's fine. We'll just walk <laughs> inside of this path. I don't think there's a jump. Oh god, I'm walking in people's crotches. Alright, let's just, uh... Let's just kind of go straight into this dangerous bird habitat, and then, uh... I need to add more foliage in here, but I really do like kind of how it came out with all these little fingers of water. Really deep now that I'm looking at it in first person. Oh, they're so cute! I like this kind of rock work that I did. Obviously I can extend it a little bit more, but you know what? Oh, look at the babies! Oh, they're just so cute. How does this turn into this? Just a straight up dinosaur and then these cute little chicken nuggets over here. I don't get it. Okay, um, I say that is the end. I know I'm gonna be coming up on the amount of time as the last video. So how about we just hop on this train while it's still here? If, unless my camera wants to be super dumb. Okay, we're back at the front. Let's get on here. Let's take my seat in the back so we can see everything. Actually, I'm going to take this side. Because if you watched the last video, nothing's changed since that... Oh, no, I pushed X. Nothing's changed since... Uh, Oh, am I in the other train station now? Oops. <laughs> yeah, nothing's changed from the last one. Oh, we have to wait so long. Can I change to the other train? Okay. Well, we missed the dingoes, the whole point of this train ride. I just love this bend around the 
crocodile habitat. This is really what I wanted to show. I know it was in the last video, but this is just, I think this is my favorite part of this. I just love everything about this right here, right now. Oh, I just love it. Where's that other train? Oh, that other train's still coming by. I just, I love this kind of, you're coming here and you kind of drop down here and you get an overview of, you know, all the, oh, man, they're just so beautiful. Oh, I love you too. Um, yeah. It's not much, but you know, I I built this, and it's it's a big deal for me. All the babies are no longer babies. Oh, there's more babies. How many babies did you guys have? Oh. Well, I think after this, I'm gonna find the next the next uh, continent with the least amount of animals, and I'm gonna start on that zoo. I'm gonna implement a lot of what I learned from other YouTubers, what I've learned from this zoo, what I can improve on, and yeah, hopefully I'll have a really nice video for you guys in the near future. Hopefully it won't take me too long to build another one. I just, man, I love this little walkway. I love how it just... Ah. Anyways, the link to this is going to be in the description as well as the link to the first person mod that I'm using. Remember, it won't work super well with 1.8, so I recommend just using it in sandbox mode where you don't really care if anything happens. Uh, my game crashed like eight times in a row by trying to click the animal trading button. It's, yeah, just use it for fun, for walking around, maybe download other zoos off of the workshop and do first person mode in that. Uh, remember G will remove your HUD. I think the mod itself removes the HUD. No, so yeah, G and control X to get into first person, then escape to get out of it. Uh, yeah, if you want to leave me a review on the Steam Workshop, I'd super appreciate it because I am sensitive and I need validation. I'm just kidding. But uh, yeah, thank you. If you made it all the way here, I feel like most of you didn't. So if you did make it all the way to the end of this video, I just want to thank you so much. And I'm so sorry that I don't know what to say so much of the time. Uh, but thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate it. This is my first series I've ever uploaded to YouTube that wasn't just a one-off or a video of my dog. So I feel, ah, I feel good. I feel hopeful for my Planet Zoo future on YouTube, if nothing else than to just show you what not to do. All right, well, hopefully you guys will subscribe. In case you want to see, it's probably going to be the Arctic Zoo. Let's be honest, there's only like eight animals. Uh, yeah, well, I'll catch you guys later. Thank you so much.